Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to freeze mushrooms. Let's get cooking. So mushrooms are great. I love them in lots and lots of things, but if you ever purchase mushrooms, which you should, by the way, watch my video on how to store mushrooms, but if you ever purchase mushrooms, it doesn't take much for them to spoil, and when they spoil, they get kind of slimy and gross, and it's just unfortunate. So by freezing them, you can sort of have them when you need them, but there's a few tips to making sure that they're not also disgusting once you froze them. So let's get to that. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mushrooms and we're gonna saute them a little bit. Just in a little bit of olive oil or butter, whatever you wanna use, but you wanna saute them to prevent them from getting soggy once they're in the freezer. So you're just kind of searing that outer layer to kind of prevent them from getting frostbite and damaged as they get frozen. Let's do that now. So I'm gonna add in some olive oil. I'm just gonna turn that up to a medium heat. Let that kind of warm up. Once the olive oil kind of looks a little watery and I can start to smell it, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms and just cook them for about five to 10 minutes, just so all of them are evenly cooked throughout around the whole mushroom. So I'm not trying to reduce them per se. I'm really just trying to make sure that that's evenly cooked. So before you do anything, the first thing you need to do is wash the mushrooms. People say you can't wash mushrooms, but that's a lie. Mushrooms are mostly water, which is why it's also important for us to cook them a little bit before we actually get around to freezing them. So just take the mushrooms, put them in a mixture of, you know, one part white vinegar, four parts water, rinse them around for a few minutes just to get all that debris and any other like microbials off the mushrooms and then you're ready to go. So our olive oil is all heated up. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mushrooms. Okay, so I've added the mushrooms to the saute pan. If you're just gonna say like, maybe you wanted to use mushrooms in soup and maybe that's the primary way that you consume mushrooms. If you wanted to freeze them, you probably don't have to saute them first. The structure and sort of the texture of them aren't gonna change too much from going from the freezer to a pot of uh, boiling soup. But if you wanna use them for something else, like say omelets, where you have more interaction with that texture and there's not, it's not surrounded by broth, then you definitely wanna saute them first before freezing them. So like I said, I'm just gonna cook them for about five to 10 minutes, just so I see sort of an even searing around all of the mushrooms. So the mushrooms are sauteing. As I mentioned, I'm just looking to kind of evenly cook the mushrooms all around. I'm doing that to kind of preserve the texture because once they're frozen, you don't want them to get all kind of mushy and soggy when you defrost them. So when you defrost them, so that's just really important. And I added a little bit of olive oil at the beginning. I said you could use olive oil or butter. Feel free to add more as needed. Uh, you don't want them to burn or stick to the pan. So you can be kind of liberal with it. So the mushrooms have sauteed. So the point here is not to cook them down in the way that you would cook them down for necessarily eating them. It's mostly just to cook them down to protect them while they're being frozen. So they've sauteed. We're gonna now transfer them to a parchment lined baking sheet. We're gonna lay them out evenly spaced so they're not touching each other and put them in the freezer. Okay, so I'm just gonna transfer the mushrooms to a parchment lined baking sheet. Like I said, you wanna make sure that none of them are touching. So what, the reason I'm doing this is I put them in the freezer and I want them to freeze. If they're touching, they're gonna form a big block of frozen mushroom, which is gonna be a total pain in the butt. By keeping them separate and letting them freeze on the baking sheet with some room between them, they can then freeze and then you can take them off of there and put them in a bag and store them and they won't stick together. Okay, so I've placed all the mushrooms on a baking sheet. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put them in the freezer. Okay, so frozen mushrooms. You wanna put them in the freezer and leave them there for at least about four hours. They're now completely frozen. You can tell because they're like rocks. <laughs> now we're gonna transfer them to a freezer safe bag and you can store them in the freezer for up to a year this way. Once the mushrooms are in a freezer safe bag, you know, just try to remove as much of the air as you possibly can when sealing it. Um, you can store the mushrooms this way for about a year. Um, obviously the sooner you use them, the better, but if you are a mushroom fan, like this is the easiest way to freeze them and it'll keep you shrooming all year long. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If something you wanna see, drop a comment below. And if you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. So please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.
the reason you want to do that is to sort of keep that, man, I keep losing my words. <laughs>